Arguably the most sought after Decepticon toy of the G1 era was Season 3's Trypticon. Trypticon is the towering, transforming T-Rex that also serves as a mobile base of operations and battle fortress for the Decepticons. Introduced just in time for the 1986 toy Christmas season, Trypticon probably sold for around 75 bucks, though I couldn't find any actual original MSRP. Now I don't normally do vids on individual Transformers, but the parts involved in Trypticon is damn near a collection all to himself. There are radar dishes, platform extenders, ramps, battery covers, laser cannons, the list goes on. Before the days of mass people trying to collect box toys from their local Walmart, there were toys like this that the majority ended up out in the wild, meaning that to find a Trypticon in modern times with his expansive accessories is pretty difficult. Chances are that if you want one that's complete, you're going to have to bite the bullet online or at a vintage toy shop. I recently picked this up, hence why I'm doing a feature on it before I lock it up in the case, from Big Redhead Comics Vintage Comics and Toys. Just an awesome place and I'll leave their link in the description down below. Card reading in Intelligence of Level 7, he was portrayed in the cartoon as a complete moron but was integral and part of uh, one of the only really good episodes from Season 3, Ghost in the Machine. As a toy, he actually was one of the few that scaled well against his Autobot nemesis and counterpart, Metroplex. And like Metroplex's minions though, you never hear much out of Trypticon's built-in robots, full, full tilt the car, and brunt the... um... tank? Finding an example with working electronics is important as well, though, if you are mechanically inclined, cleaning and repairing one that's not working is not an impossible task, as there are multiple tutorials on YouTube and other places from the internet that are really in-depth and show you how to rebuild Trypticon. Sit tight, there is an upcoming episode where I will be featuring the entire Generation 1 Transformers collections. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. As always, there's a lot more coming. Remember to give it the thumbs up and subscribe for a lot more vintage toy reviews.